Hi, welcome to story time with Miss Sheila. I hope that you're having a great, that you had a wonderful day and that you're all ready for rest. But if you're not, I still hope that you enjoy this book and like learn the lessons from it. The book we're reading today is called I Am Anna. I'm going to go like this. I am a leader. In all that I do and in all that I say, I'm sure to always lead the way. So this little boy looks like he got hurt, but these two look like they could be teasing or laughing at him. But this boy is being the leader because he went over to help him and to be kind. That's how you be a leader. I won't sit back or bend the rules. My friends are up to me to choose. Very true. Uh oh, and here it says, do not walk on the grass. But what are they doing? They're walking on the grass, but he is going to choose to obey the rules and obey that sign. I am brave. He's climbing up a big mountain or cliff or something. If doubts creep in to make me frown, I won't let this fear hold me down. My feet are firm on shaky grounds. My faith in me knows no bounds. Ooh, he's a pitcher in this one. Look at how fast that ball is going. I am strong. I'm mindful of all that I think and I chew to strengthen me in all the things that I do. So he's eating broccoli. Maybe that's a tomato or it could be an apple. You see all the fruits here and the grapes. In mind and body, in soul and spirit, whatever comes, I know I can take it. So he's meditating or praying. I am confident. You won't find me cowering in any room. So that's he's saying he doesn't do that. He's there participating in class. A star like me wasn't made to be gloom. That's so true. We weren't made to be gloomy. We were made to explore and enjoy and, and learn and grow. And if butterflies float up in my chest, I'll still try to stand tall above all the rest. Yes, that's good because we all have to learn to be good speakers. Yes. I am focusing on my business. I put in the effort to get the work done. When I see good things, I know can be one. And so he made a to-do list. And on it, it says, homework done, cleaning done. Baseball, he left not done yet, so he's going to go play baseball. I plan my day well and make sure I read. I'll, it'll take a sharp mind for me to succeed. Very true. Oh, look at him. He's looking up how to be a successful baseball player. Look at that brain. <laughs> I guess that's about our reading and working our brains out. <laughs> I am in control of my emotions. If things don't go well and I need to cry, it's okay. For true, it's okay to cry. To let it all out like the big gray sky. Yes, everybody should cry once in a while. Especially when things get hard or tough, they can cry. It's okay. It helps you actually release all the, the negative and so that way you can start thinking properly again. When worries set in to make me feel bound, a smile on my face keeps my mind sound. Oh, look at this. He's doing the dishes. Walking to school being happy. Walking the dog. So he's doing other things to help change his mood, to put him in a better mindset. I'm choosing positivity today. My life is powered by positive thoughts. I have to stay focused on all the top spots. 
I watch what I say and I guard what I hear. The things we let in are what are what we keep dear. Yes. We want nice. We want joyful. We want favored and good things to come into our minds and into our hearts and what come out of our mouth as well. I am expecting favor today. The one who made me has great plans for me. I'm a beacon of hope for all the people to see. Yes, that's true. God made us all special and unique and with our own gifts that we need to share. My life is a magnet to wonderful things. Favor will find me on Yao giving swings, like Yahweh. So look at him, he's using the magnet and he's attracting achievement, keen, divine, excellent, fabulous, lovely, good, cool, and brave. Oh, here's, I am achieving my goals. Well, this they say practice makes perfect, but I don't believe that. I say practice makes improvements. Because nothing's perfect, but practice makes improvements. It helps me get better. It's just what I need as a driven go-getter. Yes, you have to keep going for your dreams and you and um, being the best that you can be. When when great care is needed in my daily tasks. A gentle hand to guide me is all that I ask. Oh, look at it. So either a parent uh, or a teacher or whatever is like giving him a thumbs up. Yep, you're doing it right. You're doing a good job taking care of your pets. I am filled with great ideas. I won't be throwing off if I hit a speed bump. I'll work really hard to get through my slump. Oh, he's used doing the Rubik's Cube. Figuring it out. <gasps> if there's a puzzle that may leave me frazzled, just give me a chance. You'll surely be dazzled. Ta-da! He did it. He put all the colors together properly. Make one solid color on each side of that block. I'm using great thinking skills. Mean words are hurtful and not very nice. Before I hurt others, I'll have to think twice. So the mummy is saying, or he's remembering his mom say, cookies only after dinner. My actions are guarded by all that is right. I'll try to be careful and keep this in sight. I'm a great listener. By paying attention to what I've been told, mom's and dad's words will help me grow bold. Yes. And there's the mommy and daddy. Do you see them? Like uh, being there to cheer him on as he goes and tells a speech. I keep my eyes open to what is around me to learn so much more about all I can be. And look at, we have to remember that other people are watching us too. Like when we were growing up, little ones, younger ones are watching us, or even our peers are watching us, and adults are watching us. So when we do well, they will do well. They will want to follow. I am enough. If life makes me falter or brings me great pains, I'll know I'll spring up like a champion that reigns. The world won't scare me or make me feel rough because one thing's for sure I know. I'm enough. Very true. Each and every one of us is enough. And we're learning and growing and we can be supportive of one another. And I am so grateful to have you share the story with me tonight. I hope you have a wonderful and beautiful day and, or a wonderful, peaceful rest. Until next time with Storytime with me, Miss Sheila. Take care. Bye.